Murtis Deitman was destined to be a cowboy. Born in Crockett, Texas in 1935, Murtis's parents raised their five children on a ranch. It was here that Murtis learned the ins and outs of being a cowboy by working the ranch alongside his father, O.D. Murtis grew up going to rodeos and always wondered why there weren't more African Americans participating in the events. So in 1957, he and longtime friend James Francis came up with a plan. They approached Prairie View A&M with the idea of a trail ride and rodeo featuring predominantly African Americans. Prairie View A&M agreed as long as no alcohol would be allowed on campus. Today, the trail ride is one of 13 that make the annual trek to the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. This February will mark the trail ride's 54th year. Deitman's day job as a truck driver began to take a back seat to rodeo in 1954 when he worked his first rodeo as a bullfighter. The bullfighting soon led Murtis to the chutes, and in 1961 he began riding the bulls rather than fighting them. Widely considered the Jackie Robinson of rodeo, Murtis came into rodeo at a time when events were just starting to become integrated. In 1966, Deitman became the first African American to qualify for the National Finals Rodeo. The Crockett Cowboy would go on to compete in six more National Finals, finishing third place at his highest. Although he never wore a world champion buckle, Murtis was not deterred and would go on to win several big-time bull riding events, including Cheyenne and Calgary. In 1971, Murtis took his talents to the silver screen, doing stunts and starring alongside Cliff Robertson in the film J.W. Coop. Here's one of the world's leading bull riders, Murtis Dyke. He would go on to make more movies, including two with the legendary Steve McQueen. In 1970, Murtis began to mentor a young cowboy named Charlie Sampson. Deitman encouraged Sampson to stay in school and get his education before choosing a life in the arena. Under Deitman's tutelage, Sampson would become the first African American to win the bull riding championship at the national finals in 1982. Murtis was there to pull the gate for his protege's championship ride. Murtis' hard work and dedication to the sport of rodeo can be seen in his many accolades and achievements. He's a member of the Texas Rodeo Cowboy Hall of Fame, PBR Ring of Honor, and the National Cowboy Hall of Fame. Today, Murtis has his own signature line of cowboy hats and hosts the Murtis Steitman Rodeo every Labor Day in his hometown of Crockett. He can often be found in the community, speaking to kids about the importance of staying in school and away from drugs. For this father of six, grandfather of 13, and great-grandfather of 13, rodeo has been more than just a sport. It's been a way of life. Murtis Deitman, 2011 Texas Cowboy Hall of Fame inductee.